Hi everyone, today I would love to introduce you to my new Seamless Glide Eye Pencils. And as the name suggests, these pencils glide on like a dream. It is no joke whether you are a novice eyeliner person, whether you're an every single day full graphic eye, whether you're just a weekend smoky eye person. They are so easy to apply, in fact, that they almost feel like a wet, kind of pencil, so smooth going on. The pigment is incredibly high, so one swipe or a few dots, a little bit of a smudge, and you will have your eyeliner done in seconds. My original inspiration for these pencils dates back to around 2016, when I was working with the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge on their Ancient Egyptian Afterlife exhibition. During this time, I worked with their conservators, recreating an ancient pot and applicator from their collection, as well as original coal recipes. Coal has a rich, long-standing and multifaceted history. It's absolutely fascinating. It spans cultures, countries and continents, predominantly India, the Middle East and North Africa. I challenged myself to create something that felt as fluid, smooth and sensorial as creamy coal, but in a non-smudgy, long-wearing and easy-to-apply modern pencil formula. They also feel really comfortable, so if you're someone that just likes to do it in the waterline, they almost hug the waterline, so you don't have any of that scratchy feeling, and you get enough playtime. You want to just perfect that um, graphic eye, or whether you prefer to kind of smudge and smoke the liner, you get plenty of time to build up. And even once they're set, you can build up on top more and more and more, and they don't become patchy, they don't start flaking off. So you can build up to a full smoky eye look if you want. I'm launching with six shades. Black Treacle, a classic matte black. Cinder Smoke, a cool gray with subtle pearl. Ground Coffee, a deep neutral matte brown. Burnt Umber, a rich warm matte brown. Night Forest, a deep green with blue and green pearl. And Renaissance Gold, a blackened metallic gold with cool champagne pearl. The formula is also infused with soothing chamomile flower extract. There's enough playtime for you to blend and buff, but once it sets, it's budge proof, waterproof, and fade resistant with a 16 hour wear. There are just so many different styles and effects and looks you can achieve with these pencils. So I'm gonna to aim to show you quite a few today. I've got some of the footage from the website photography. So we filmed me sort of doing the makeup so you can see different styles on different skin tones. And I'm also gonna do a few looks on myself as well. I'm gonna start with the shade Ground Coffee, which is what I'm actually already wearing now. And this is the most beautiful, deep neutral brown suits everyone and it's great if you just want a really nice everyday look so i'm starting by applying the pencil through my upper and lower water lines and this really does almost hug the water line it doesn't drag it feels really smooth and comfortable then i'm lining just above my upper lashes and you really don't need much skill with this pencil because you get plenty of playtime. You can go back in and create a really nice line. Bring the pencil through the, just underneath the eye there a little bit and giving a little bit of a wing. I'm then using my brush number 14 just to show you how creamy and easy to blend these are. So if you're frightened of doing a sharp wing, you can use them just to create a nice, smoky, soft wing. So that is the shade Ground Coffee. And as you can see, it's just a really great, neutral, deep brown. And I just like the fact that you can play with it. You know, you can put a little bit into the waterline, you can smudge it on the lower lash line, but yeah, just pretty foolproof really. So here's ground coffee on Josie, our model. You can see it almost looks wet when it first goes on. I'm also applying it along Josie's lower lash line and giving that a really good smoke out. A little bit more smoking 
on the upper lid. So that's a lovely smoky liner look with ground coffee. For Isla, I'm going to do more of a full, soft, smoky eye look, starting with the lower lash line, then going right along the lower lash line on the outside using my brush number 14, really smoking it. A really good tip for creating a nice, soft, smoky eyelid is to draw a very, very messy line and then use an eye blending brush. I'm using my brush number eight to blend and smoke. Applying a little bit more pencil and again, really smoking and starting to bring that up towards the socket line and smoking out there too. And this creates a really beautiful, soft, smoky eye. So the next shade I'm going to apply is called Night Forest. And this name definitely describes the shade. It is a blackened, deep green. I think with this one, I'm gonna go all the way along. Just gliding along. Then I'm gonna look straight ahead and just start to wing that out. And then fill in. I might just do this as a wing liner. to start with and then I'll smoke it a little bit more. So that's a really nice kind of just cute little wing. And one of the really nice things is that even once it's completely dried down, you can go back in, add more, it doesn't flake at all. So you wanna build intensity or you wanna add more of a wing shape, whatever, you can just keep going. So that is the shade Night Forest. It's a really intense black and green, with green and blue pearl. Here's how Night Forest looks on Josie. And here's the finished look. So here's our next shade, Burnt Umber, a rich, warm brown. On Josie, I'm applying it along her upper lash line to create a really simple little kitten flick. Now I'm applying on Isla, and this time I'm going for a more graphic line with a precise wing, just filling in the lash line there. Now I'm gonna go through the lower lash line and then using my brush number 14, really smoke that out. And that's the finished look. So onto our next shade, and this is Black Treacle, a classic black matte. This one looks really beautiful just as a simple line or a simple winged liner. But on Josie, here I'm doing it as more of a smoky eye. So I'm using my brush number eight to blend onto the lid. Then I'm going along the lower waterline and really smoking the whole thing out. It, this is great because you can just keep building up. You can keep going over the top, you can add more, you can blend it, you can add a little bit more, you can smudge it a little bit more. It's a really foolproof way of doing a classic, beautiful, smoky eye. Next is Cinder Smoke, and here it is as a really nice, thin, defined line on Josie. So that's Cinder Smoke, a fantastic cool tone grey with subtle pearl. For Laura, I'm applying it more in a smoky wing shape. Last but not least is Renaissance Gold, and this is a really smoky gold that hasn't got any yellow in it. It's a cool toned sparkling gold. I'm gonna apply this all along my upper lid, all along the lower lid. Oh, I absolutely love this color. This has turned into one of my favorites. Let's do the other eye. This is a really nice shade if you just wanna add a little bit of sparkle and light, but without being too light, so you still get because there is some black still in it, some smokiness, you still get that definition. 
but without it being too dark. So if you're someone that doesn't really like dark shades, particularly if you like to do the waterline, but you don't like to use black because it makes your eyes look smaller, this is nice on the waterline because it defines, but without completely closing up the eye. So that is just simply all around the eye, but I really like this shade as well when it's really smudged out. So I kind of like go up a little bit more at the outer edge there. And then you can use an eye brush or you can use a smoky, um, like a small blending brush and just smoke the edge. So it's more like a kind of full look, but it takes seconds as you can see. So just adding it like that. You don't have to do it in a way that is precise. So if you're not good at applying straight lines or you just don't really like that look, this works so nicely. And once it sets, it really sets, even on my oily eyelids. I haven't actually used a primer at all, but if you still want to use a primer, you absolutely can and blend on top. So that's just a really quick sparkling eye using Renaissance Gold. Since this is the last shade, I'm going to add more of this and make more of an eye look on myself as well. Blending it into the socket line and all of the shades work really well like this for doing a complete eye look. But this one's just more sparkly than the others. There's just no scratching anywhere on the lid. It just feels so nice going on. And then I'm going to add a touch more mascara. And then this look will be all finished. So that is the final look on me using Renaissance Gold. Oh, I do want to show you one other thing, one last thing. And this is a good tip if you want, you've done your kind of shaping, you've done a little bit of um, liner, you can take an eye brush and just go through the actual tip. And then with any of the colors, this works really well. If you want to create like a little socket line using the same color, so you can see you can get a lot of kind of depth there. It's so easy to blend. And again, it will set, so it's a really nice way of doing a, a quick eye, a very quick eye. Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial. Um, yeah, I've shown you all the shades, some on me, some on model, some on both of us. And um, it is just an addictive, addictive texture. It feels so gliding, so smooth. And um, yeah, I think the colors will work on so many different skin tones, whether you like that kind of more, as I say, the more graphic eye or the softer smoky eye. I can't wait for you to try it and I can't wait to see the looks that you're going to create with the pencils. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.